Now, this English New Testament is octavo, which means we're getting quarters like this, octavo is getting done a little bit smaller. And these were the books that they actually smuggled into England. They put them, they would put them in vats that would look like they were vats of, of corn or wheat, and they'd bury them deep in the vats wrapped in, wrapped in um, skins and things to protect them. So they were, they were actually smuggling Tyndall's New Testaments into England. As soon as this happened, after a while, the English authorities uh, censored the books terribly. They, declared, they, they actually burned whatever copies that they could find. They spoke out against Tyndall. In some ways, in my experience, the more you burn a book, the more it sticks around. And so this caused a great deal of interest in Tyndall's New Testament. Um, and it was, in fact, not the English that, that gave him such a bad time, although I do like the language of the proclamation that uh, prohibited Tyndall in England. It says the prohibition said, in the English tongue, it is that pestiferous and most pernicious poison dispersed throughout all our dioceses of London in great number. But interesting information, pestiferous, of course, but they're distributed 